everyone, I'm Dr. Reva Robinson, functional medicine physician and MPC bikini competitor. I am so grateful to have you here on the Reva Wellness channel today, where I bring you the best in empowered health through fitness, nutrition, and functional medicine. You would probably never know just by looking at me that I struggled with my weight for a good portion of my life. Now, I was never severely overweight, but it just always seemed like I had those extra five to 10 pounds that would never go away. I tried all of the diets, you name it, Atkins, South Beach, the Master Cleanse, and I would lose some weight for a little while, but then I would gain it right back. And so after all the up and down, up and down, I just figured that my metabolism was broken. <laughs> So I don't know if any of you guys can identify with this. I'm guessing so. In today's video, Gut Health and Metabolism, I'm gonna share with you the missing link to lasting weight loss, and that is rebalancing your gut health. You're gonna learn how gut health helps you shed the extra pounds, boost your metabolism, and best of all, help blast that belly fat. But make sure you stick around to the very end of the video because you don't want to miss out on how to download my gut IQ quiz. That way you can find out if gut health may be undermining your own weight loss efforts. If you saw my understanding gut health video, which I recommend you go back and watch that, you'll know that the gut is one of the most metabolically active organs in the body. So what that means is your gut is responsible for producing energy for all the cells and your body. So if the gut isn't healthy, then the rest of the body isn't getting the energy that it needs, and it essentially goes into low power mode. Your body isn't thinking about doing extra things like losing weight, it's in preservation mode. And so one of the things that happens is that you'll, your body will tend to store more body fat because it thinks it needs an extra source of energy. And when the gut is imbalanced, it throws off your hormones too. So that's stuff like insulin, your thyroid hormone, and estrogen. And those hormones, when they're imbalanced, can cause weight gain. Insulin in particular causes your body to store more belly fat, which is what we all do not want. Above all else, it's the inflammation caused by those gut imbalances that is the real problem. Inflammation underlies every chronic disease that we see. And to be more specific, inflammation is overactivation of the immune system. And so you need immune cells to be activated whenever there's a problem, whenever there's an injury or an infection. But if that continues to go on after the insult is gone, then you end up with problems. And when it comes to belly fat or any kind of fat for that matter, there's a vicious cycle going on. So belly fat actually produces chemicals that cause inflammation to be created throughout the body. And that inflammation and the body then sends signals back to the body fat to create more inflammation. So this vicious cycle keeps the inflammation and the fat going and going and going. So how do we reverse this gut-derived inflammation? Well, in functional medicine, we have an approach called the five R's to gut health. First is remove, second, replace, three is re-inoculate, four is repair, and five is rebalance. Today, for the sake of time, we're just gonna focus on remove. We begin by removing the stressors to the gut. This includes things like specific foods, food additives like artificial colors, sweeteners, and flavors, and preservatives, and also infections and toxins too. Millions of Americans actually have sensitivities to foods that they don't know about. Some of these food intolerances may be gluten, dairy, eggs, nuts, you know, things that are extremely prevalent in a lot of the foods that we're eating. Now, these aren't outright food allergies. Those reactions tend to be a bit more severe. You can have food sensitivities and you might not even notice the symptoms of it. This could be gas, bloating, belching, hives, nasal congestion, runny nose. I used to have these symptoms all the time and I didn't even think about it. I never realized that my gut was under constant stress as I was eating a lot of gluten, dairy, and eggs, which unfortunately it turns out that I'm intolerant to. But 
The good news is that you know, once I remove those from my diet, those extra five, seven pounds that I could never lose no matter how much exercise or dieting I did, those melted away. Other gut stressors may include things like bacterial overgrowth or yeast, which often are fed by the sugar in our diet. So one key thing that you can do, here's your ninja tip, to create a beautifully balanced gut get the sugar out of your diet because the sugar is feeding the bad bacteria in your diet while the good bacteria like lots of fiber and lots of nutrients from your food. Okay folks, I'm gonna wrap up here. So today I shared with you how our gut is so tightly linked to our metabolism and how inflammation is the underlying process that is creating more fat throughout our body and also contributing to other diseases. Now there's so much more on this topic. We still have the other four hours to go through and I'm sure you guys have lots of questions. So be sure to leave your comments below, but also look in the description section of this video. You'll find a link to book a complimentary consultation with me because I would love the opportunity to talk with you more and see if functional medicine could help you with whatever issues you're going through. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it out with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is all I have for you this week, guys. I'm Dr. Reva Robinson. It's been a pleasure sharing with you today. Have a good one. See you next week.